guys, what's going on? Tracy Warner again, welcome to my shop. Uh, here with another vlog. Uh, since I last vlogged, um, I have put out a table saw video, and by the time this comes out, I have this box video here. Uh, now, my table saw video, that thing was like long overdue. Um, I've been wanting to do that for, and I don't even know how long, long time. Uh, just making a huge mess everywhere, and that thing has been a lifesaver. Um, collected all kinds of that dust, and I haven't even turned on the shop back yet, which is really, really awesome. The one thing I would change is I used like a one by that I actually had to shave down uh, just to fit in between your your work surface and the actual base that it sits on. Um, since then, I've actually seen where people take things like uh, your your water line insulation hose kind of thing um, even them little swimming noodles um, and they'll actually shove that in there which had a had I, you know figured that out earlier um, it probably would have saved me some time um, but so far everything is working great and I just I love it my table saw video that came out a little late about a day late um, and that was mainly because I was trying to finish up some stuff, uh, trying to get that guy finished and that lathe stand that uh, I've been talking about, trying to get that finished up. Um, and I, it just ran late and by the time I got it uploaded, it was like midnight, so I figured I'd just wait. Now from that table saw video, you guys might have checked out that uh, little bench that I have my, my bench top uh, table saw in. Um, if you guys have a bench top table saw, I very, very, very highly recommend uh, building one of them. Um, makes things uh, just a whole lot easier. I mainly built it uh, just because if I ever wanted to cut a sheet of plywood in half or anything like that, um, with the way it was, there was no way I'd be able to do it. Uh, not even safely and not even with two people. It was, it was a real pain in the butt. Uh, I hated using that thing. It just scared the crap out of me, really. And then uh, I built that bench there that it sits in. And ever since, that is now like my favorite tool that I have. And every one of my projects at some point goes through that table saw. Um, so if you do have one of them, I very highly recommend uh, building one of them. Uh, I also had to build my own fence for it, um, which was no big deal to me because the fence my table saw came with that thing was absolutely horrible uh, you would have to clamp or you know measure it out clamp it and then make sure that the the fence was actually square and a lot of times it wasn't so then I had to unclamp it move around reclamp it recheck uh, so it, would, it basically take you about three times as long just to make a simple cut and with that now upgraded one that I built um, I now have pockets for things like pencils and markers, um, maybe a little Zacto knife or something like that. Um, but yeah, it's it's awesome. I love it, and I highly recommend if you guys have one of them kind of saws, definitely build one of them. To, at first, just build that, and then I was like, well, I got all this extra room. I'll put my router in it as well. And ever since then, I love using my router now too. Uh, one part you can't see is I actually have a flip out outfeed table on it as well so and that I've used that a few times and that helps out a lot um, I'm not really planning on doing a whole lot of updating to that bench mainly because in the very I don't know year or two uh, I'm really looking to upgrade my table saw get something a lot better an actual like cabinet or hybrid something like that now another video I've been talking about is my lathe stand um, that still is under construction. Um, I think all I got really left now is mainly sanding and uh, I'm going to do some paint on it. Um, and one thing you'll notice in the video is I'm actually using uh, older wood. I had a lot of it just laying around. Um, nothing wrong with it. It was just, you know, decolored and, and uh, had some stains on it, stuff like that, which... For a stand that, you know, I'm hoping I'm going to like, but, you know, maybe I don't. Um, it seemed like the perfect candidate for it. Um, you know, and then, then I'm not going out having to buy more lumber just to make something. Decide I don't like it, tear it apart. You know, this way I'm not really out anything. Um, but hopefully some sanding, some paint, and 
you'll never know the difference anyway. Um, and with the stand, I'm doing real bare minimum right now. Um, once I actually get some uh, interior walls in my shed up, um, then I'm actually going to build an actual cart for my lathe to sit in. And that way, if it fits ever in my way, I can just slide it over, you know, maybe, you know, whatever. But uh, that's that's the plan for that. Um, and the other thing, uh, when it comes to lathe stands, is you want them weighed down. Um, that way, you know, as you're turning, it's not, you know, shaking. Um, and one trick to that is to throw a, a sandbag, you know, on a bottom shelf or something like that. And uh, so that cart, that's part of that plan too, if if I need it, which I may, I may not, I don't know. At some point, I'll, I'll probably will do uh, an update to the lathe stand, just because once I actually am able to use it and start turning with it, um, I've I got some ideas on how I want to organize some chisels. Actually, I got to get the chisels first. Another video I've coming out, uh, which by the time this goes up it'll already be done is this little box video um, and I built it for my tack as you can see and it houses it very nicely and uh, I'm actually waiting for someone to comment on on the pink foam um, I was actually uh, my my whole plan was to get it cut out like that and then uh, just sp throw some spray paint on it you know black or you know something for now make it look a little nicer um, and I had a weird kind of experience. I don't, I don't know if it's the kind of foam or the paint. Because I even tried every kind of black spray paint I had. I had different brands and whatnot, you know. But uh, I basically got a chemical reaction is kind of the best I can describe. It almost melted it. And it's all crusty. And yeah, it just like all my little thinner pieces... I mean, it almost ate it through. Um, it's weird. I've, I've never actually had anything like that happen. I don't know if it's the foam or what, but it was just weird, but that's why it's pink. But, you know, hey, it's it's for work, and it's going to do the job. So One thing you guys are probably going to notice is I'm, I'm more likely to do a lot more woodworking stuff than anything else. And that more or less has to play into, uh, you know, a cost. Um you know, wood's relatively cheap, metal ain't too bad, um, but for the most part, metal projects just simply just take a lot longer. Um, I do plan on doing some, um, and I, I'm kind of, I'm snowballing an idea right now um, on, on on this big project, and it's it's a lot of problem solving, and, uh, but if, if I do do something like that, um, it's going to have, you know, I'll have to do a playlist, it'll have to be a series of some sort. Um, you know, like right now, um, I'm currently constructing a, a metal lathe, um, and I've been working on that for about a year off and on. Um, it's just, it's really time consuming. Um, and, and so far, I've, I've turned a, I turned the pulley for that, um, and so far that's really the only part I've really got to turn on it. Um, but it, I mean, it's just a lot of work. But uh, the other thing is, a lot of my metal working, I have to actually do my welding outside, and uh, which I mean, no big deal. But uh, that also depends on the weather and how that plays out too. Typically, um, if I want something to look really nice, I I more tend to go with uh, wood, and if I need something to be as strong as I can possibly make it, I tend to go with metal. Um, and then there's always fiberglass too, but then, you know, a lot of the stuff, it, it just takes, it's really time consuming. Um, where wood is, you know, when it comes to time, it's, it's not so bad, typically. But I do have uh, some metal projects uh, that that I, I have on the list. of You know, of course we all have a list that's, you know, a mile long, but, um, you know, there, there will be metal working videos. I'm actually thinking of doing one maybe here very shortly um, but that's that's why I'm primarily going for wood right now um, and the other other big focus of mine is my shed I need to get the outside done so that I can start concentrating on the inside and actually start getting this shop actually uh, cleaned out so I can actually walk in here um, and actually get some of the 
you know, I got a fewer newer uh, woodworking tools, and I can't even really hardly use them, just because I don't have the room right now for them. But as soon as I can move them into my other shed, then I'll actually be able to get them and use them and enjoy them. And I'm really looking forward to that. It's it's just going to be a long process. My plan this week is to get the lathe stand actually finished, you know, sanded, painted. Uh, that's that's my goal. Um, shouldn't be too bad to take care of. I think I can manage that much. And then once I actually get that done, you, you'll get a sneak peek of my wood lathe. Um, I'm going to do, like I said last vlog, I'm going to do a, a little uh, kind of a review on it. And that way if you're interested in, in building one yourself, then I can at least show you, you know, how I did it and the technique I used and, you know, to help you along. And, uh, but, uh, the lathe still ain't quite operational yet. Um, I'm getting really close. I actually just turned a pulley for it here just the other day, um, on the little metal lathe I'm working on. Um, so I've got to get that mounted and then I need to make a live center for it, which is coming soon. It's just a matter of time. Um, but other than that, it's for the most part ready to go. Um, and then once I get it on the stand, I actually got to get the motor set and mounted and figure out all that mess. But uh, hopefully it won't be too long and I'll, I'll have that up and operational. But that's all I got for you guys this time. Uh, if, you, if you like the vlogs, let me know. Um, if you hate them, let me know. Just be gentle. Um, but, uh, you know, that's all I got for this time for you guys. So I'll see you next time.